Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today I want to talk about my one month review of uh, War Paints Fanatic. So I've had the paints for about a month now, just over, and uh, I wanted to talk about how they've changed my painting. And to be honest with you, they actually have. So before what I would do, right, is I would do the speed paint thing. Um, you know, you do your, um, your Zenithal, your black, then your gray, then your white on your model. Then you hit it with all the speed paints where all the speed paints need to go. And that was it. Uh, I hit it with a wash maybe at the end and boom, there you go. Model was done. Now, um, I've actually changed up the way I paint altogether. And it happened, and I didn't even notice uh, initially. Um, until I painted one of my other models and then I realized, holy crap, I don't paint the way I used to paint anymore. Um, how I do it now is I do the Zenithal still um, with the uh, the gray, the black and the white. Um, then I would use the Army Painter Air. Um, I would use the tri, the tri-color there to get my Space Marines done. And then I would, you know, speed paint from there on. Now, what I do is I Zenithal. I then use the Ultramarine Air. That's the only one I use. Then, once I've got that base done, I'll go in, I'll block in all my colors. So with the Lieutenant here for an example, who was fanatic and blurry. Yeah, sorry about the color not being the best, or the lighting not being the best. Just that time. <laughs> but what I would do, like what I did with this guy, and actually the captain beside him, now, um, I'll do the ultramarine only. Then, um, the zenithal will show through, because I'll thin it out pretty nicely. So you get, you know, your highs, your mids, and your lows. Um, pretty good showing through because of the black, the gray, and the white. Um, but then I'll come in and I'll hit all the parts I need to hit. You know, my golds, my leathers, uh, wax seals, all that stuff. Once I've blocked in the majority of the colors I need, I then go back using the Fanatic Ultramarine. Thin this down with, um, for now... Uh, Vallejo Glaze Medium. This will be replaced with the Army Painter variant, uh, the Fanatic variant, once that comes out. Um, usually I would do uh, two drops of the Glaze Medium for one drop of the Ultramarine. No, sorry, I was wrong, sorry. Three drops of Ultramarine for two drops of the Glaze Medium to thin it out nicely. Um, and then I would go in and touch up. So anything I missed, if I some of the... Uh, is some of the gold overran. I fixed that up. I touched that up and fix everything I screwed up. Oh, actually, no, sorry. I missed a step. I block in all my colors. Then I will use speed paints pretty much solely now as washes. Um, I would do three drops of the speed paint medium to one drop of whatever speed paint it is. Uh, so, for example, for all the golds, I used uh, the Glittering Loot with three drops of Speed Paint Medium. Um, for the red, I used, I believe it was Slaughter Red um, with three drops of Medium, etc., etc., etc. And I was noticing that's pretty much what I was doing. I was doing one drop of Speed Paint, three drops of uh, Speed Paint Medium basically turning them all into a wash and it i mean it looks amazing like this is using speed paints as a wash especially on the leathers it makes the leathers pop a little bit more um but yeah um i'm now using speed paints which used to be my primary paint um i'm now using them as a wash um, I'm also, because all of these obviously are metallics, I only have the, the bronze, the copper, copper or bronze, bronze, ha, <laughs> gold and silver. I've been using the Vallejo metal medium, um, to make any additional metals that I need. Um, I've been using the quick shade medium, um, on these just to thin them out a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, 
I'm basically doing all my blocking in, um, in my, you know, doing two coats or even, you know, um, maybe possibly a third coat on some of these, if they're on a darker color, obviously. And, uh, blocking in all those colors and then hitting speed paints on top of them. Uh, the blue I, I did with High Lord Blue. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that speed paints for me are now more of a wash um, than anything. Um, I have a lot of the Army Painter washes and I don't see myself buying any of them anytime soon. Um, only because now I'm just using all my speed paints as washes. I've got 116 of them. <laughs> And they're all now just 116 different colors slash shades of, uh, of, of washes now. Um, my plan is to actually to increase my Fanatic uh, or, uh, collection quite a bit. I'm going to get more of the, um, the blood. Uh, so far, the True Blood, I have it on so many different models. And this is amazing. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing paint. Um, I've been putting this on a lot of them. Um, I'm waiting to get the other, uh, I think it's dry blood or something like that, which is basically just this as if it were to dry out. Um, it's got like little particles in it and stuff. It is amazing. The rust, I'm using it more actually than I am the dirty down rust. I have dirty down rust. I use dirty down rust, but I find now that I'm using this more I didn't notice uh, until I was painting something yesterday, and I was like, oh, I haven't used Dirty Down Rust on like three or four different models. I've been doing rust effects, but I've been doing them with this, and it just kind of caught me off guard. Um, yeah, uh, the oozing vomit, I ha I've, I, yeah, I haven't used it on anything other than in the mouths of my Tyranids. <laughs> uh, I put a little dab on a on my on my wet palette and there you go um the washes i've been using them here and there um when i can't come up with the exact specific color of wash that i want um i will be long term once i use my speed i i don't know whether i'm gonna what i'm gonna do with speed paints to be honest with you they still have their place but to me their place now is an extended wash line um and to go on top of the fanatics once i've painted them because i feel like the fanatics they're good i just don't like like edge highlighting and things like that and i find if i put a very thin uh speed paint over you get the edge highlighting and stuff i don't know if that actually comes through on the leathers and stuff not really it's very 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 subtle um but yeah i mean yeah, it's really weird. I wasn't expecting this to be a side effect, but so far, I mean, I've only been using them for a month, so it could just be that I'm leaning into the new hotness quite a bit. But, yeah, uh, it's kind of changed up the way I'm painting, even down to the base level of just getting the initial prime done, where I used to do the Zenith all black, gray, then white, and then I would hit it with three different uh, Army Painter air colors. But now it's like I get to those three colors, and I'm like, well... If I can just do it with one, because if I screw up down the road, I can rep I can just water this down a little bit, or thin this out, and touch up, and, you know, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's turned into one of those things where it's like, okay, oh, yeah, and then once again, I can turn any of them into a metal with the medium here. I can use the same thing with the fairy dust, but the fairy dust for me is more of a dry brushing, um, adding a metallic effect to whatever it was you've already painted because it just lightens up the paints I've realized way too much and I've had to either pre-thin the fairy dust more than I wanted to or vice versa so yeah uh, it goes really well though the fairy dust and the or sorry the uh, the medium, metal medium with the, the fanatic really good I'm really hoping they come up with a metal medium for the fanatic range um, but yeah so there you go um, I'm actually going to be painting uh, some dudes in the next couple days that um, are auxiliaries to a specific Tau uh, group. I'm looking at the group box. I got the group box. Um, and I'll be painting that up, actually, with the Fanatic. I think I'm going to do them. I don't know why I want to do this, but I want to do them with 
these three colors, so I want to maybe do them, or not these three, uh, maybe do them with the rainforest. Um, yeah, the rainforest, the army green, and maybe the aqua. I don't know, I want them to be, like, very poppy. I want their, I want them, their, their skin to kind of be, like, very bright. I don't know why. Um, part of me also wants to do them, though, in, like, this color here, the necrotic flesh. Um, it's part of the olive greens, which I think the army is. Yeah, the army is also olive green. Um, let's see the two different things there. So I might use these two. I don't think I have any other olive greens. Deep green. Yeah, so... I'm really excited. I mean, it's it's changed the way I paint in a good way, in my opinion. And so far, it's fun. I mean, the whole point is joy. And I'm having fun using them as the base paint, which technically they are. And then using the speed paints as a wash over it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And I like it, and I'm enjoying it. So, so far, yes, yeah, thumbs up. After a month of using, I've painted up what... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I painted up 19 models, 20 models so far using Fanatic as the base and then using the wash on top with the speed paints. And as you can see from these guys, they look awesome. Um, I haven't really put them through the airbrush at the moment. Um, you can. Um, I do three drops of thinner to one drop of paint in that order thinner first paint second um and yeah i mean that that's that's good it works fine um it's not really meant to go through the airbrush but you can put it through the airbrush like i said three drops of thinner to one drop of uh to paint and yeah i think it's been pretty good overall um i will do another review after i've watched or after i've uh been using these guys for six months um later this month the singles will go on sale and my plan is at that point to really stock up on mediums get the other rust get the other blood um get a couple more blues i think i want to get a leather there's no i don't think i have a really good leather like this brown is okay but i find it too dark um, same with this one. I don't think it's, I don't, I don't, it, it's too dark as well. Um, this one I find is too red. Um, uh, that's obviously red. <laughs> so, yeah, what I've been doing is I've been using my brown, my old, or I've, been, I've been using, sorry, this, the fur brown, and then hitting it with a repainter leather, hardened leather over it, or aged leather, no, high hardened leather over it, and it turns out pretty fine. But overall, right now I have gaps. But I also have paints that I don't think I'm going to probably use, like my pinks um, off the top of my head. Though, I haven't really painted that many things yet. Everything's been Space Marines, so we'll have to see. But so far, so good. Thumbs up, like I said. Um, I'm liking what's happening so far, and uh, they've been pretty good. I'm happy that I don't have to mix them as ba as much as the, uh, the old ones, so that's a good thing. With that in mind, though... Thanks for watching. Really appreciate, appreciate you. You can be watching anything, but you're watching. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.